Hi everyone, this is Joe Legilia with The Mortgage Message Show, and on this episode, we're talking about what we're grateful for with my special guest, my wife, Candice Legilia. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of The Mortgage Message Show. My name is Joe Legilia, and I'm really excited about the new Gratitude series we're launching in November. For my first guest, I have my amazing wife, Candice Legilia, who I'm so thankful for and has been behind the scenes on so many of the projects that I've done. I want to start out by just introducing her to my audience and just to say thank you for being who you are and for being the most amazing mother and wife I could ever imagine. I wanted to start off the interview by just simply talking to our audience about how we got here and how moving to Plainfield was really our start. I know during that time we were not only building a home, we were also getting ready to have our first child. And if you can recall, um, just kind of that experience and what that meant to you at that time. Yeah, I think um, obviously when we found out we were pregnant, like we were like, okay, maybe we should consider getting out of this town home. And we looked for houses. We didn't really see anything that we liked. You came across this subdivision, walking distance to Plainfield. It kind of had all the things that we wanted. And um, we were, getting ready to have a baby, we were having a house built, we were making all sorts of decisions, we were living out of a box when she was born, we closed on our house when she was 10 days old, and you were starting a new job here, and yeah, it was a little bit of a chaotic time. Yeah, it was interesting. I remember when we were going through that period of time, um, I really fell in love with the location, and certainly you built the home that we're in today that we love so much, Um, and I just remember at that time, thinking of the life that we were starting here in Plainfield and thinking about, you know, where this journey was going to take us. And, and here we are five years later. Um, kind of, if you can, from that point till kind of the start of this year, um, we've had an interesting ride. We, we, after having our daughter, Evelyn, we added another kid to the mix, our son, Will. And uh, it's been a journey of trying to combine the work and the life balance. Um, you with your profession as a nurse, me building a mortgage practice here. Um, would love to hear just kind of a um, hot take on how this uh, parenthood slash working professional, um, how that's been for you and how the journey's been. I think I'm grateful that I'm in a profession where you can kind of cut back or you can pick up more if you want. And so it was pretty easy to, you know, cut back hours after we had kids and that left me available to be home. And your job's a little bit more demanding than mine and you kind of have to stay in it, so to speak, in order to keep up with everything and so um, it's been nice that we each have professions that kind of allowed us to shift when we had little kids to what was needed at home. Yeah, I think it's amazing from my perspective and one of the things that I'm just every single day so thankful for is not just your ability to juggle um, being a mom, being a wife and going off into what is especially today just a really wild time to be a nurse, to be in the medical profession. Um, And I'm always enamored and in awe of the strength and the courage that you have day in and day out to do so much. Um, It really gives me strength and gives me um, a lot of inspiration to go out there and to try to be the best I can be in my profession. It's just something that um, I could never thank you enough for, for being who you are. Um, This year, 2020, has been quite the year for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Um, And certainly for us, Um, along with so many people who are out there, we're figuring out how to react to this pandemic. We're figuring out uh, just recently, and uh, and so much of the heavy lifting on your side, I must admit to my audience, figuring out the e-learning side of life. Um, You know, this year I think has has brought us closer together. I think that it's um, done a lot to, uh, you know, really bring us as a family unit when there's so so much upside to having been uh, indoors together for so long, but just would love kind of your uh, your summary of kind of the year 2020. It's not over yet, but yeah, I mean it's definitely had its ups and downs. Um, you know, there were days when I felt like super mom and I was doing all sorts of crafts, and you'd come home and we'd all be in good spirits. And then there were other days when I feel like I was throwing the kids at you when you walked in the door, or even if you were working in the office, you know, trying to keep the kids away from you and um, let you work. And then me trying to still go to work and come home and make sure, you know, I'm 
washing all my clothes and, you know, getting showered right away because of COVID. And thankfully, I feel like we've kind of got a little system down now. Things are feel a little lighter. Um, but yeah, I think we had a lot of quality time and we got to be creative together with our kids and come up with activities to keep us entertained and them. And it was most days fun. <laughs> <laughs> we say surviving, right? Yeah, We're yeah. surviving. Um, so, and I think that's awesome. And I, and I think, you know, again, just, just thankful for um, what we've experienced and what's to come and, and continuing to stay safe and, um, and just watching our kids kind of develop in this new world, so to speak, and try to keep it as normal, which you do such an amazing job of, of trying to keep it normal for them the whole way. Um, you know, so much of what I do, which I know that you've always um, just embraced and, and encouraged and never um, discouraged me from it, but my love for video and video marketing. And, uh, and here we are today, by the way, that I convinced you to do this. Um, I wanted to just kind of ask you your impression of, you know, what, what, it's, what it's like to have seen kind of this idea from you being there from the start of saying, hey, I think I'm gonna incorporate video into my business. And then uh, fortunately or unfortunately from Saturday mornings to everywhere in between seeing me using video and, and, and then you just being on video today or just what's your thoughts on that journey for me? Um. I think anybody who knows you knows that you're not camera shy, so it doesn't shock me at all that you've brought it to this point. Or, you know, I think people like to hear from you. They think you have good insight on things. Um, you know, I, I know it's fun for you, so one thing that you've always said is, you know, if you're doing something you love and, you know, then it's really not work. And so I'm, I'm grateful that you get to do something you love and you found a way to marry your mortgage business with your passion for video. And it's cool, you know, to, to see you do videos. I, I'll admit, I don't always watch them. But <laughs> That's all right, um, you and most of everybody. I, I, I don't always have time or, you know, Saturday mornings I'm wrangling the kids while you're doing the show, so I can't do both. But um, I appreciate your talents. Yeah, well, and, and really that's that's the, the point of the question is is really just to say thanks because behind the scenes is, is so much of why I want to put you um, in the spotlight right now is because behind the scenes you are wrangling the kids, you're, um, you know, handling so much to make sure that I can pursue that passion. And um, I, I, I say it as much as I can, but I think it's something that I really wanted to showcase today is my thanks for, for just being that person in my life that saw a gift and, and saw a passion and, and instead of um, maybe going another direction with your attitude toward it, toward it, just absolutely embraced it. And so I'm so thankful because it's brought me um, so much farther in my career than I ever thought I could go. Um, as, we, as we look to the future um, and, you know, coming up in the year of 2020, we celebrated 10 years in our relationship, seven years of marriage, five years of being parents. Um, just so excited for this next decade. Um, from your perspective, um, what are the, some of the things that you're looking forward to over these next 10 years since these last 10 have been such a blessing? Um, obviously excited to see our kids grow. Um, now that our older daughter, Evelyn, has entered the school age, it's kind of nice to see her shaping into her own self, so it'll be excited to see Will do the same. Um, you know, seeing what our community is like and our neighborhood and how those relationships continue to grow, um, where your career goes, where my career goes, um, you know, I mean, all sorts of things, just, you know. Yeah, it's exciting. forward to the next stage of parenthood and. I'm super excited as well. And I, and I think that it's, uh, it's, it's cool to have a positive outlook, especially with the stuff that's going on in the world. And, and so much uh, of that positivity comes from you and I'm just so thankful for it. And, um, you know, I think there's so many people who are watching right now that are connected to us through social media that you've meant so much to. And really so much of this is wanting to give you that moment. Um, because there's so many people who want to say thanks to you for being that person that drops everything they do in a second's notice to be there for people. Um, it's one of the things that made me, you know, want to spend the rest of my life with you is that you are one of the most selfless people I've ever met in my life. And um, I'm just so grateful to, uh, 
to be connected to you in this way. And um, it's exciting. It's exciting to, uh, to do that. So I uh, just want to say thank you. And, and I guess um, to close the interview, um, I could say thank you for the rest of the, you know, 10 minutes, hour, you know, weeks, days, months. But what are some of the things that you're thankful for? Well, obviously you. <laughs> that wasn't a setup, I swear. That wasn't a setup. But I am. I mean, you you work hard. You provide us with a, a beautiful life. And you allow me to stay home and spend these moments with our kids that we'll never get back. Um, obviously thankful for our friends, our neighbors, and, you know, our family. And we have such a strong support system. And we have so many connections with people. And we've just, we have great relationships around us, you know, our, our church family, our, like I said, our neighbors, our family. Um, um, just a lot of love, especially in 2020, you know, when things were, you know, always not so great. There was always somebody dropping off a gift on the front doorstep for the kids or bringing donuts over, just all these little things and it just shows how many people we have out there that love us. Thank you. I know that this is a little bit out of your comfort zone, just a, just a tad. <laughs> and uh, you knocked it out of the park. This is obviously going to be one of the best episodes I've ever done. And um, just again, just thanks. And, and I I'm super excited for this to be a little bit of a time capsule for our kids. Um, it's one of the reasons why I was so excited about this is that long, long time from now, they can look back and at least have a little bit of a snapshot of what this moment was all about. So uh, just from the bottom of my heart, thank you and I love you. I love you too. And thank you to all of our audience for being here. We hope that uh, this episode inspired you to uh, reach out to someone to say thanks, to uh, let them know that you're grateful for them in your life. And there's many more episodes that are going to follow during this gratitude series that uh, hopefully look to inspire you as well. We'll see you on the next episode, everybody.